He was an actual employee of this department, which is pretty amazing to think about it. So I always have a soft spot in my heart for auditors. But you know, a big part of this, uh, our mission here is improving public education, and nobody was more instrumental in that than William Howard Day, uh, becoming the first African American president of a school board, and just his drive to uh, desegregate the schools, not only when he was in, in Ohio, but uh, across uh, the entire nation. He is the definition of a consequential life. Um, what he did for education, what he did um, even for suffrage, what he did for just breaking down barriers at a time when that was incredibly challenging for an African-American uh, in the United States. So I first of all start off with just the consequential life he lived. But today there are children all over the United States that are benefiting from the work of William Howard Day. And so I think from a day-to-day -day perspective, that's the most important thing. When we audit our school districts, one of the main things that we're trying to make sure, you know, look, we're making sure the dollars and cents work. That's our, the primary mission. But beyond that is how effective is the education that each child is getting? And that was one of the reasons why he was advocating for desegregation of schools, and that is separate and equal were clearly, he was well ahead of his time, that they were not consistent, that you had to have desegregated schools to give any form of equality. So part of my job as Auditor General and then forming it on the mission is how do we make sure that every kid in Pennsylvania, regardless of their zip code, has access to good quality education. The heart and soul of what we're trying to do with public education is giving every child an equal shot. Now once they get that education they have to go out and you know use their talents and their work ethic and their discipline uh, to try to then go out and try to achieve their dreams. But without that core at the beginning, they can't do that. And a big chunk, of, he's not the only one, but he helped set in path uh, that every child would have access to that type of education. So he would be the heart and soul of what we're trying to do. During my first term in office uh, in 20, 2016, 2016, I was uh, presented the William Howard Day uh, Award. And I'd like to think, look, again, you know, you know these things are sometimes more symbolic, um, but of the effort that not just me, but my entire team, and I think plenty of auditors before me on trying to do our part, making sure every kid has access to good quality public uh, education. And so to me, it was, I, I think, symbolic of not just myself, but our entire team's mission on trying to, I think, further fulfill the dream that he had in the 1870s. So for me, part of this is, you know, if you don't um, the state, and it's not just obviously my statement, but if you don't study history, you're doomed to repeat it. So sometimes you have to know where we're coming from to know where you want to go. And William Howard Day, to me, is a really critical component of where we were, how far we've come, but how much further we have to go. And that is a constant reminder. That's why we have the award in the office. Um, it is a reminder of those three pillars, where we were, where we are, and how much further we have to go. First of all, it is long past due, not just for William Howard Day, but for the African American community in general, um, to have um, that type of significant figure, both not just locally, but nationally, finally get the appropriate recognition um, that has long been past due. So that's, I, I, I think that's one. Two, I think for many children, regardless of race or background, they have the ability when they come to the tours of the Capitol, and that I'm hopeful and I believe in talking to folks that that will be part of the tour of the Capitol region. You know, people come from all over Pennsylvania, and even all over the world really, to, to see our Capitol building. Having that be part of the tour will then make it part of the educational process of everyone that comes to visit this uh, tremendous Capitol building. So I think his legacy then will only be enhanced and the lessons and the, le the consequential life of William Howard Day will become better known to many thousands of people across the United States. One ripple can cause a wave. What William Howard Day did in the 1870s was one person causing one ripple that is still making waves today. Any single one of us if we're willing to take a chance and something we believe in, can do that exact same thing. That ripple that we start today may be productive waves for people in the future. Any one of us has that in us.